Um, I've also got some staffing updates, some staffing news to share uh, about different things that are going to be happening over the next few months and between now and the end of the year. And uh, the first thing is some sad news that Andy's going to be moving on. Andy, up you come, up you come. Come and tell us. We're all a little bit sad. Did you hear that little noise? Yeah, come and tell us what on earth's going on. Um, first of all, I'm a bit sad as well. Um, uh, basically, as you guys know, I got married in November to Emma, um, who works up at Holy Trinity Clapham. And um, yeah, we got married and we felt really called to do things together and to be sent um, as a pair for uh, the kingdom. And um, a role came up at HTC um, not too long ago. And so we prayerfully contended this and seeked God's face on it. And um, I was really reminded of where it says in Ephesians 5 about, about how as a husband, we're called to lay our lives down for our wives as Christ did for the church. And so, um, yeah, for me, it's been like a real sacrificial moment for, uh, for my marriage. And so, um, so, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. She still loves us. I still absolutely love Ascension. There's been um, a lot of tears um, in this process, and it, it's like being a, yeah, a massive, a massive sacrifice um, to, to kind of go and, and do this. There's zero percent of me that wants to leave or wants to move, move on. It's literally a, God's called me to sacrifice for my marriage, and so that's what I'm doing. Now, um, for us to kind of adjust and get used to this idea, when are you actually disappearing? Um, so it won't be until January. Um, I, in the interview process, I basically requested January, and they said yes to that. So, yeah, it won't be till January. So do you remember we had Luke? Everyone remember Luke? And you remember we knew he was going to head off, but it was the now but not yet of Luke heading off. Well, we've got a similar thing here. So Andy's going to be with us till the end of the year, and that gives time to sort of transition a few things, and then we're going to go from there. Um, thank you, Andy. We'll do the proper saying nice words in about six months' time, but between now and then, we still love you. Know you're loved. Let's give Andy a round of applause. Um, now, on a slightly more upbeat level, there's some other staffing um, news, and the first is that um, we are going to be getting a uh, new curate, um, at the end of June, um, and that person is Amanda Emberley. Amanda and James, could you come up? Amanda and James. So Amanda, for anyone who already thought you were the curate, what have you been and what are you becoming? Uh, I've been the ordinand, which means that I have been part-time here and part-time doing a degree in theology, and then I will become full-time here because I will have finished my degree. Brilliant. And uh, how are you guys feeling about being full-time here, curate, for the next few years, all the rest of it? Great. Yeah. We're thrilled. Brilliant. We are absolutely thrilled to have them. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. Now, if that wasn't exciting enough, we're going to be getting another curate. Another one. Because one's not enough. We need another one. And so, could you welcome to the stage Mike and Amy, Sam and Erin. Could you come up? Up you come. Up you come. That's great. Brilliant. Up you come. Come and, come and stand with us. This is brilliant. So, Mike, you're going to be coming a curate. Where, where are you currently? What are you doing? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, so, currently, I'm based at a church in Forest Hill, and I've been doing sort of similar to Amanda. I've been an ordinan, so training um, and studying at the same time. But yeah, now coming to the point where I'm starting as a curate. So, you sort of know Amanda from college? Yeah, so we, we study at the same college. So is she all right? Great. She's brilliant. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good. <laughs> She's great. Is he all right? He's good. Okay. He said brilliant. You said good. No, he is. Oh, this is true. I'll it take it. It's good. And so, how are you feeling about who, who, who else have we got here? So, we got. So, my name's Amy, Sam, and Erin. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. And tell us, how are you feeling about it? Is, is this good? 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to joining, getting involved, getting to know some people. I feel really excited about coming. Brilliant. And we really enjoyed Bubble Church this morning, so I think the kids yeah, are looking fantastic. forward to coming back again yeah, and again. Fantastic. Yeah, great. Well, we're so excited that you're joining us, joining in with the story here at Ascension. Lovely to have you guys. Can't wait to see you again in a few weeks' time. Round of applause. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. So let's just take a moment to pray for some of these changes that are going on. So just where we are, let's just bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for every single precious person here who is part of your big family here. We pray for Andy, Lord, as he has stepped out in faith uh, with this big, big transition. Uh, we pray for him, especially over the next, uh, between now and the end of the year, that you'd uh, help him kind of adjust to the new reality that he'll be moving into. Um, bless him, Lord, and bless Emma. Thank you for them both. We love them. Um, but at the same time, we also pray for Amanda and James. Thank you that you're bringing them to us. And Lord, we thank you so much for Mike, Amy, Sam, and Erin, who you're also bringing to be uh, curate, part of the team here at Ascension. We lift them all to you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Brilliant. Brilliant.